Hello guys, and welcome back to the Cisco 101 channel. Sorry it's been a while, I just kind of ran out of ideas for videos and then had a bunch of tests to do. But, I'm going to be restarting it with this video on a game jam I participated in. So, let me show you what I did. Okay, so, the game jam is the District June Jam 4, which went for three days. And the theme that I had was formation. Now, I wasn't too sure about what to do with this theme, because I wasn't sure how I would be able to code something kind of being built. I was thinking about potentially doing a robot builder, but then I got really stuck, because I decided that wouldn't work. So, what I did instead was I grabbed a dictionary and looked at the definition of formation to see if that would give me any ideas. And then I found what I wanted. It said that a formation was also to do with patterns, and that made me come up with my idea. So what I decided to do was make a game where you can control a group of people to kind of avoid the different patterns or formations of lasers. So, with the idea made, I got coding. So, the first step was to get some of the code together in like a prototype. So I made a group of people where there's 30 clones that all kind of move around randomly, and then one laser that kind of flashes as a warning and then spawns it in. And I also made sure that it kills any of the clones that it touches. As you can see, when I run the game, it looks a bit dodgy, but don't worry, it gets fixed up later. And then, if you end up being into the laser's path, then the clones just get obliterated. Which I found quite funny, to be honest with you, at the start. Then, I had to make some different lasers, so I've got all sorts of different kind of patterns that get progressively more small over time. As you can see, it kind of shrinks down. Now you're probably wondering, with the, some of them, like these ones here, how you're meant to do it. So, because it's on two different sides. So what you have to do is press the arrow keys to split it up, as you can see here number one, two, and three will put the people into different patterns. So number one will split it left and right, and then number two will split it up and down, and number three makes it go in a circle. I mean, I didn't do very well in that clip there, but you can see Number three makes it go into a circle, which is again a bit glitchy at the moment, but that does get fixed up later on. But you're probably wondering, what is the circle one actually for? Well, as you can see in this clip, a boss appears, and you have to use the circle to kind of go in and attack the boss and reduce down his health. I mean, again, it doesn't look very good at the moment, but that should be fixed later on. Then, I just added in a simple counter taken from Griffpatch on the original Slime Killer project, actually. I'll just keep it in the backpack so I can use that in all my projects, which is nice and useful. And now, it's time for the fun bit, to make it look good. So, I made this little character for the player, so we have a run animation, a death animation for when they get hit by the laser, and a win animation for when the boss is defeated. And speaking of the boss, I made this pretty cool sprite of an alien king, because I wanted it to be like an alien invasion. I also made a hit sprite, one where he kind of gets beamed up after, if you don't kill him in time, and then a death animation. And as you can see, I also made sure to get in a background as well, instead of just the kind of completely blank white that I had beforehand. So yeah, I think it looked pretty good. And then also, there is the boss as well, and a death animation for when it's hit by the lasers. 
Then I also made sure to make some simple little buttons for the three kind of orders you can give with the arrow keys and a slider for the boss's health that kind of changes depending on how much he has. And you can see if I press the button then it highlights the correct kind of horn because it's meant to be kind of like blowing it almost like an army for orders. <laughs> the sounds are a bit strange but again I do change those later on. Then the final step was just to add in some of the sounds and a title screen. And then the final step was just to get it up on itch.io so I could submit it. So I just made up a description and a loading screen. The only thing is, is that the background for the game looks exactly for the actual page is, almost, is identical to the actual background. So it looks slightly strange, but that problem is fixed when you go into full screen. So, I hope you enjoyed this little video, and I hope you, play it. you can play it on Scratch. You can just search, if you want to play, you can just search Crowd Control, or you can also do it on itch.io. So, hope you enjoy. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you soon. Bye.